hello everyone in this video we will be discussing an another example so the question is calculate the voltage across the diode and the current through the both diodes and the current through the resistor now this is the network here we are given a resistor and two diodes which are the silicon diodes we need to calculate the current through this resistor and the current through the both of the diodes and also the voltage across the diode so now we will find the state of the diode first whether it is on or off we will find the state of the diode now this is the network so for finding the state of the diode uh, as i have said in the first video we need to find the direction of the current which will be going through the diode so if you want to know how to determine whether the diode is on or off uh, you can refer my first video so the current will be established in this direction and it will split among the both of the diode and the direction of the current matches the arrow of the diode hence they can be replaced by 0.7 volt drop across them now this is how they are replaced 0.7 volt drop now we can see that the voltage drop across the diode is 0.7 volt which is 0.7 volt okay now we will finding the current through the resistor now for this we need to apply the kvl in the first loop now this is the network here the first loop is this one so we will apply the kvl in this loop just 10 volt minus the current to the resistor ir into 0.33 kilo ohm minus 0.7 voltage drop across the diode which is equal to 0 and by solving it ir is equal to 10 volt minus 0.7 volt divided by 0.03 kilo ohm which is approximately equal to 28.18 milliampere okay now we have found out the current through the resistor so we need to find just the current through the diodes now we'll find the current through the diodes look both the diodes are silicon so they have the similar characteristics so current through the both of the diodes will be the same because they are similar and they have the same characteristics so whatever current is coming in it will be divided at this junction it is divided into the half so ir divided by 2 now assuming the similar characteristic for both the diodes we have assumed so id1 is equal to id2 which is equal to ir over 2 this is the current which is coming at the junction so that will be divided which is 28.18 milliampere divided by 2 which is 14.09 milliampere so this is the amount of current that is going through each of the diode now that's it Hope you like the example and stay tuned for the more example. Subscribe my channel for more examples.